Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not new, thank you so much, really, for coming back. Let's play a game. Let's start this video off with a game. How about how quickly I can get through this video without sweating everything off? It is so hot. This is supposed to be a fall fashion haul. Yeah, it's still kind of like summer weather in LA. So I'm working with it, okay? I'm transitioning as best with the weather as I possibly can but it's hot, okay? I haven't done a seasonal fashion haul in a while and only because when you live in LA, like the seasons don't move the way that they do in other states. It's just like consistently nice all year round and which is a blessing, but you know, it has its pros and cons. I've collectively been buying some stuff actually since as far back as summer, preparing for the colder weather and I also am going to be taking some trips in the next couple weeks, so I definitely needed to buckle down and get some fall appropriate pieces. Starting with the dress that I'm wearing right now. This is a super, super cute, every time I see this type of emerald green, I think of Christmas, I think of the holidays. It definitely puts me in that type of mood and I really, really love this. This is from H&M. It's super figure flattering and slimming and it flares out at the bottom. You can wear this with heels. You can probably wear this with boots too, but I just love the way green looks on dark skin. So I had to cop this. So everything that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be a mixture of like low, 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 low in, like low, 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 like is that even a brand name? All the way up until like some mid-range to high end. So I have a little bit of everything sprinkled throughout my wardrobe, which I'm kind of proud of because I'm kind of the real MVP when it comes to finding really cute clothes. So yes, yes. This two-piece crop set though, like I low-key did that. When I found, first of all, why are you not cooperating with me? Come on, you're on stage now. So this is a two-piece crop set that I found at H&M. It's not sold together. They have a bunch of different items in the same pattern. It's from their divided line, I think, divided, yeah. So it's the subdivision of H&M or whatever, they're, whatever, the stuff that they sell at H&M, okay? So I brought this little crop top. It's still crop top weather in LA. Don't judge me. But then I also bought, same, same pattern, a pair of wide leg pants. And when I tell you, like, the struggle, of having a booty and finding pants that fit. Like everything is just either leggings or wide leg for me. And then it's like, because I'm short, like everything drags on the floor. So it's just like, it's intense. But these fall right at the perfect length for me. And I love the way they fit. I wish I could have found, I had to buy the shirt in an extra small. I mean, I fit in extra small, but I fit comfortably in a small. So I bought it anyway, you know, maybe I'll stretch it out during a few washes. I just discovered this, website called JLux Label. I didn't discover it, like they were already in existence prior to me finding out about them. But what I'm saying is, I've been following them on Instagram for a while now and I've been so tempted to buy some outfits. Finally, I took that plunge two days ago. I mean, they have the most basic, but cute, 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 cute stuff. So I bought this black dress. It's got a mesh top half and an open back and then it has a um, solid skirt. It's, it's just a dress, it just looks like a, but it looks like a two-piece outfit, which is what I really like about it. Contrary to what you guys might think about me, I do like to kind of, you know, do a little big grown and sexy, little grown and sexy, but honestly for me, I've seen girls do the bra thing with this. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm almost kind of thinking maybe I should try to find a little black crop tank top or something to wear with this because I, like, I would wear this in the bedroom with the bra. I just personally, personally would not feel comfortable going out with a bra and mesh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll change my mind. But I bought it anyway. I'm going to play around with it and explore some different options. If you guys have any tips on what you think I should wear underneath this, please let me know. Black is our nude. So I like this. It's sexy, classy, and it's like my new modern day LBD. And the second item that I got from JLux Label was this super bomb two-piece white suit. I mean, it doesn't get any more classic than a two-piece white suit. Beautycon New York is this weekend. I'm scheduled to fly out tomorrow and I just went on the website canoodling, looking for some last minute outfit options. I picked this out. I don't know if I'm gonna be a little warm and uncomfortable in it, but um, I don't know. I am going to be wearing this on the top. Don't be fooled by the little preview I'm gonna show you. I'm not wearing the, the jacket just like that, but I, yeah, I am gonna be wearing this with a little white top. I've been digging me some free people. I literally just discovered the store last weekend while shopping in Atlanta and we have them out here. I don't know why I've never seen them or I've just never really, I don't know, maybe I've just passed them by and just never really put much thought into it. Um, but I picked up this cute, super cute little halter dress. It is a burnt orange, 
love lace I love burnt orange I can probably wear this with some super cute boots and just be done with my day or I can take this oversized cream sweater which is kind of what I had in mind like I wanted these two pieces to be worn together this is also from free people another one of those blanket type feeling sweaters but I love it free people is very expensive I don't know why this stuff is that expensive but it's very expensive um, I believe some of the stuff was on sale I don't remember what but I was just like okay y'all okay okay what's the total okay mm -hmm. then I have this two-piece burgundy set which is so so comfortable and cozy like the sleeves are like overly long but I actually really really like that it's got a partial turtleneck and then the skirt because you know what honestly like cohorts like I'm hanging on to that trend for as long as possible I think it's the sexiest trend ever matching two-piece sets I just think that just they just look good. I can't help it. I'm sorry. And then you know you can't really go wrong with Oxblood. I love this set. I really, really, really like these leggings because, first of all, because they're leggings and I'm a woman. Like a woman with booty at that. Like what woman with, with booty curves and shape doesn't like leggings? I don't know. I don't know. You might not be from this planet if you don't. I'm going to be in Europe next week so I needed real, real, real coats because it gets really cold really like it's real cold so I needed to get real coats real coats so while I was canoodling at BCBG Max's Rio I picked up oh, girl I had to I'm sorry but this coat this coat though like me in front of the Eiffel Tower let's just let's just envision it I know I know it's 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 intense even for me but I had to get this coat because I loved the way it fits. When I put it on, the guy that sold it to me, Frank, Frank out of um, Atlanta, Lexington Square, Lexington Plaza, whatever that mall where people be doing the absolute most, that mall, BCBG Max is real. If you shop there, tell them Frank. Frank! Mm hmm, Frank, give him that look like Frank. I know you're gonna sell me something. I had to get it, and I need bomb pictures in Paris because y'all know when I travel I don't play with pictures so I had to get this and then I also bought a black coat because I wanted to get at least two basic coats that I can pretty much wear with like a blanket of a number of different outfit choices so I bought this one and they're not the same coat this one has more of a waterfall collar the other one is a flared out um, I don't know open like an open diamond this one is that waterfall drape effect so when worn open it just looks so fabulous and I love 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 waterfall coats this sweater is from Zara it's really really cute I actually bought it in a medium because I really 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 wanted the damn sweater but they didn't have my size I bought it in a medium anyway and I'm kind of glad I did because it fits really 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 snug and I feel like this is not the type of sweater that you want to be too tight it's too it's too hot for all that we don't anticipate snow anytime soon, so I need my winter clothes to be a little snuggy. You know what I'm saying? Take a dark purple eggplant lip color. Honey, see you won't get some numbers. Let me find out you didn't get a number. You did something wrong. And then while I was at Zara, I picked up this super cute, but it's very, very long. Like it almost, I almost want to say it comes down like right at my ankles. It's very long, but it's this tan pleated skirt. At first glance, you almost want to call it mustard, but it's not mustard. Like I literally gravitated towards this skirt thinking that it was mustard. But once I put it up against this sweater, I was like, that's definitely not mustard. That's camel. But I'm not mad about it. I really, really like camel. Another one of my favorite fall colors. Um, these pleat skirts can be really, really difficult. I, like ironing them tape is super tedious. If you guys have any tips on how to get the pleats back in your skirts, because Lord, and it's that pleather material. I have another skirt that I bought. I want to say from either Misguided or Bardo last year. Same exact color, but it's a short skirt, and I don't even wear it anymore. It's it's a nightmare. It's annoying. It's like trying to get it to look as fleek as it was at the store is impossible impossible but I'm not gonna give up I could probably just take it to a tailor and get it done but if you already follow me on Instagram you may or may not know that I recently discovered a cute little boutique type of store called sugar cloth they have really really cute it's it's kind of like a boho vibe super super cute but anyway I picked up this it's like a poncho but it's got a hoodie like and it's lace like who does that but I thought that this was so cute it has no sleeves it's just something to throw on like you can wear this with overalls you can wear these with denim cut off shorts that little fringe outfit that I had in my fall favorites yeah the fall favorites tag that cute little green actually I have it right here right y'all this outfit is also from Sugar Cloth 
so cute. I'm all here for French. All the way here for French. Like, just let French take over my life. Please, gladly, I will accept you. I know y'all have seen this all over Instagram, but I had to. I had to. I had to. Like, this is so cute. I love the color. It's like, I don't know if this is velvet. It's not, no, it's not velvet. It's, it's like that weird suede, but it's not as heavy as traditional suede. I was actually really, really impressed with how well this jumpsuit from Forever 21 fit. Okay, side boobage alert though, side boobage alert. So you either need to get the pasties out of the closet or do a, a tank something, okay, something, because you definitely will have some, some side boobage. It runs big. I bought this in an extra small. Extra small is normally laughable at me on anything below the waist, but it fits perfectly. It's actually a little baggy at the waist, but we can probably just add a belt or something. I don't know, I kind of like the baggy look, whatever. Not everything has to be body kind of skin tone. 90% of my wardrobe is starting to become olive green. And I guess they consider olive is considered khaki in the UK. That's weird to me. Like khaki is like beige. Like this is, this is khaki, this is khaki. This is not khaki. Like, what's going on in the UK? If you have golden undertones like me, olive green is gonna be your best friend, okay? Get real acquainted. Get real acquainted. Real acquainted with Mr. Olive, okay? Just a little tip, that one's for free. The sister color to olive green is that grassy green. I guess this is just like a true green. How cute is this? This is a cardigan, a, I don't know, a kimono I found at Target. I'm obsessed with kimonos. Every time I see them in any color, I will buy them because I can just throw them on. But this one actually has, does this, yeah, this one actually has sleeves. It's literally like being wrapped in a blanket. This sweater is going to be super, super cute. This is something that I want to film in because I'm always looking, obviously, you're going to get sick of looking at the same outfit. And I get sick of wearing the same outfit all the time in my videos or outfits all the time in my videos. So I'm always looking for really cutesy tops and um, stuff that I can rotate throughout my videos. And what I like about this is actually quite sheer, super sheer, so I can just wear a little tank top underneath. It's a no-name brand from a little boutique that I found out here in LA. It's another no-name boutiquer, but it's super cute. I've seen this pattern done on quite a few different dresses this season. And the brand is called A Plus Ellen. So good luck. I'm sure you can probably just Google the brand and it'll tell you like different retailers that carry them. I have discovered my second love known as Kate Spade. And the thing that I really, really like about Kate is she always has really, really good sales. So if you are not following her on Facebook, if you aren't subscribed to her mailing list, it might be worth it. Let me tell you, I was randomly browsing on Facebook and I randomly saw a banner for a 75. Yes, I said that correctly. 75% off one day flash sale. So I recently did some splurging. Now these are like my week old baby bags that I haven't even worn yet. But this one is so cute. I am a little bit slightly disappointed in the size of it because I was online shopping and in the picture it looked a lot bigger than what it actually was. Now I know they give you dimensions and that's my fault. I really could have gotten technical and got out my little ruler. But it's cute. It is a taupe. Yeah, I, I would consider this to be a taupe. And it's very, very, very structured, which is really what I like because I tend to go for more of a boxier, a boxier look. I just feel like, I don't know, it just looks more sophisticated to me. This pink one here um, is so beautiful and classy and chic. Another really, really heavily structured bag, a little bit more, um, I, I like that open fold. I like that. It's different. It's unique. I like the tortoise, the tortoise design. And God, these bags are so good. They've got a little bit of weight to them. They've got feet on the bottom. They're sturdy, they're heavy duty. How adorable is this blush? Like, can you tell I really like blush bags? I do really like blush bags, but this one is from Michael Kors and it's a crossbody, a super cute little crossbody that my friend Marlene Imon bought me. She's on YouTube if you guys don't already know who she is. But this is so cute. I said, Marlene, I'm a bag lady. I can't do these little. She said, no, it's gonna force you to be organized and to pack light. I said, okay, Erica Badu. So she bought this for my birthday, and I think it's so cute. I love the chain details. It's probably my favorite, and it's adorable. It's super adorable. I haven't worn it yet, but I have a lot of bags that I've been buying that I have not worn yet because I'm so bad. I'm really bad, but you know what? I think it's good to have a bag in like every color. Like you have a good white bag, you have a good black bag, you have a camel, but like just find the basics. And I'm building my wardrobe around the basics, around basic coats, around basic handbags. This is my everyday bag and my everyday wallet at the moment, again, from 
Madame Kate, okay? So it's that patent shiny leather. You know who actually has really, really cute bags? They don't last the longest, but H&M has really, really cute structured bags too. And I think that's why I'm drawn to Kate because they remind me a lot of what I see when I walk into an H&M. So anyway, this is my new everyday bag. It is black. I think that this will be so bomb. And I'm sure they probably do have this in the same texture as the wallet patent shiny black that would look so cute and then I added charms they don't come with charms but I'm really really kind of feeling some type of way about Kate Spade's charms because they're so cute this little fuzzy hooligan I don't know who he is or what he thinks he's doing in my life so I bought our furry friend here and then I also bought the spade the spade is polka dotted and then it's gold on the back and it just makes the bag look more personal you know I had a coming to Jesus moment when I was purchasing because I'm not an impulse shopper. I told you guys that earlier. Um, and this is the most expensive pair of shoes I've ever bought. But if these won't make a bomb debut in front of the Eiffel Tower, I don't know what will. Okay, BCBG Max's Rhea. And my vision for these was to wear them with the leggings. Just, yeah, yeah, just, just, I'm telling you, just, just wait for it, okay? Just wait for it. So I think that pretty much covers everything for this season's fall fashion haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this long, long awaited video. I miss doing fashion videos even though they are slightly more time consuming. They are so much fun. And then I feel like I'm just sitting here chatting about what's on sale, what I cried over, what I had to sacrifice rent money for. Like I feel like I'm just chatting all of that with my girlfriends when I do these types of videos. So I have fun. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. If you did, please subscribe on your way out. Hope to see you guys on my next video and thank you again for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,